welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to add async storage to our ongoing application our ongoing project which is the social media manager so we have already like worked on this particular project in the past two videos we're going to add few more uh, functionalities to it the upcoming videos so in today's video as i said uh, we are going to add async storage which is basically a local storage system in react native so let's just get straight into it it is going to be a very brief video as it as it is very simple to implement it okay so first of all we need to add the dependency we need to add the library for the async storage so uh, you can find it over here i will put the link in the description for this particular page basically we need to copy this line and then we can simply add it by the terminal you can just copy and paste it over here and it will add it to your project now once that is done now we simply just need to save some data and retrieve some data that's it so in order to do so what we can do here is that we can directly implement it in the page where we want to but let's make it a bit cleaner so for doing that what i have done is that i have added a project folder called helpers and i have created a file called async storage helper.js and inside this file i have imported the async storage from this particular path which we have just added to our project and i have created a class called async storage helper and there are two static functions inside this one is called save item and one is called get item save item takes in two parameters the key and value and get item uh takes into parameters which is basically a key and the second is basically a function for setting the text we will see what is the use of that so the format in which the data is stored in async storage is basically a key value you provide the key and you put, you provide the value for example let's say i want to save the name so i can give the key i can call the key as name and the value as let's say so so let's say afterwards when i want to retrieve the value i can just simply look for the key which is name and it will automatically give me the value so this function which you see says async storage dot set item it takes key and value so this is the key this is the value and let's say when we want to retrieve it we just simply say get item and provide the key so whatever the value that was there for this key will be uh, retrieved so you can see we have created very basic simply uh, two functions two static functions both are async we added the try catch block to both the first one is basically for setting and in case of catch it throws an error and for the try and for the get item also we are uh, waiting for getting the value once that is retrieved we are basically updating the state of the text so where we are going to implement this is basically over here so what we want to do is we want to add the instagram let's say our profile link and we click on save and it will save the uh, value to this particular for this particular uh, key the key over here will be instagram so what i want here is that the key will be instagram and the value will be my profile link similarly the key will be facebook and the value will be my profile link and so on and so forth so what should happen if i click on save it should go to this particular save item and it should save it and when i may want to view it it should go to this particular function and retrieve the value and update the text update the state so the state is basically handling this box so once this is clear because it is very simple let's see how to actually implement this so let's go back to the social media view fine over here what we have done is that we have imported the async storage helper you can see over here this we don't need we have added the async storage helper over here and what we are doing here is basically that once the the item is clicked as i said once the item is clicked we want to retrieve the value and update the state the text state of, of this particular input field so what we are doing on press we are basically getting the value and providing the state function so if there is a value it will update the text if there is no value it won't do anything that is the procedure over here similarly the only change apart from this is the on press for the save button so as i said on save on clicking on on save like on clicking the save button it should add the value to the async storage so you can see at the bottom over here 
on the on press i just simply written async storage helper dot save item and i provided the key which is the name and name is uh, provided in the props name and the get text get text is basically whatever the text we have entered will be retrieved by calling the get text function if you can see over here it is basically a part of the state the get text will basically retrieve back the text whatever is written inside the input field and set text will actually set the value to the input field so in case of saving it we are uh, fetching whatever we have written inside the input field and we providing it as the value and the key will be there so reiterate once you click on the button it will basically use this in this text which is instagram as the key and look for the value if it is there if it is there it will uh, uh, populate the value over here if there isn't it won't do anything next thing is that once you click on the save button it will take the name which is the instagram as the key and whatever text we have entered over here as the value and it will pass it to the save item function over here it will basically save the uh, key and value by calling this particular so to give you an example let's say uh, let's say my instead of handle is your set for example so if i click if i just click on save now what should happen it should basically save it and let's say if i close this and if i open this again you can see it is retrieving by the value so what is happening over here is that once we saved the value it triggered this particular function and it saved this this value for the instagram key now if i clicking up this particular card item it is calling this function which is basically taking the name as the key and looking for the value since we have already saved the value for this key which is yours md it is basically updating the state of this text similarly let's say for facebook i want to add the my facebook name for example so let's say i have added it like this if i click on save it will basically save it i haven't added any prompt such as such for displaying that something has saved or not you can do that or you can do that i have just simply created this video for the demonstration of this particular library so now what will happen what should happen is if i click on facebook it should give me back how much so here because for this key this is the value which i have stored and for instagram it should give me back your smt because this is the value what i have stored for the instagram key now this value will persist as long as you have not uninstalled your application once you delete the application this value will be terminated all this data will be lost so this is what is basically something called local database because it is stored locally on a device i hope you understood how you can use async storage you can get lot of use cases for this you can do much more with this and uh, if you like this video if you learned something new today please like the video and subscribe to my channel i will try to add more videos on this topic and on android development in the upcoming future we will try to create some projects in mobile development as a whole we will be creating few projects in react and few projects in android the native android also in the upcoming videos so thank you thank you for watching this video do like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video